Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here. So today, I decided to do a new anime review. Today's anime review, I decided to do a, new, a 17th anime review by starting with an anime review, which is Odin Photon Sailor Starlight, also known as Odin Starlight Mutiny in Japanese translation as Odin Koshi Hansen Starlight. The anime, it's a 1985 Japanese anime movie produced by Yoshinobu Nishizaki with his company, West, Corp West Cape Corporation, who's previous, which was previously known for their work as Space Battleship Yamato, also known as Star Blazers in, in the United States of America. Oh, and West Cape, speaking of West Cape Corporation, it's also known for their work, such as the controversial anime... Which is the horror hentai title from Toshio Maeda Urusuki Doji, Legend of the Overfiend. Because West Cape Corporation also did that controversial anime. Get to that title in good time. But anyways, this movie, Odin Photon Space Sailor Starlight, was directed by Takashi Shirato and Toshio Masuda. Who did stuff anime such as Farewell to Space Battleship Yamato, Be Forever Yamato many of his anime movies he directed mostly so let's start with our anime review on there Odin Sir enters around the novice crew of laser sailing space schooner starlight as they embark on a historic le interstellar li test flight they are intercepted by what it seems to be a wrecked spaceship only to find that it contains a lone survivor a young woman named Sarab Zayan Bank Baker, who unknown to the crew at this time, a mechanicalized space fleet approaches Earth, and a scout vessel from the, that fleet resp was responsible for the destruction of Sarah's ship. Sarah begins to having strange dreams about a place called Odin, and a series of artifacts discovered on a lonely asteroid point to an ancient Norwegian mariner's folk song, which it mentioned the Norse god Odin. The crew did cheer at these artifacts and deuced that Odin may can actually exist as a place, the paradise. Planet so, so often spoken in of in mythology the young crew is eager to make the journey but the captain and the ship's and senior officers observe that the need to follow the orders of earth command and return to earth immediately the crew mutinies and locks the senior officers in the officers lounge and warp the ship to the location given in the artifacts Upon the arrival, the Starlight meet a cosmic being who appears before them in space. He identifies himself as Asgard and declares that he will block the gateway to a paradise against corrupt beings of flesh and all other non-believers. As a result, the Starlight faces a, an almost endless swarm of mechanized attack ships. The Starlight crew successfully fights its way through to the land as well on what appears to be a mechanicized only or to, or to world to only face hordes of mechanized soldiers surviving the onslaught. Sarah and the crew is horrified to learning that these soldiers are, are actually part of living beings. A dying soldier hands a crew member a crystal memory chip and asks him to insert it into a computer display readout. Throughout the, it, the crew learn of the soldier's memories of the of Odin and the entire story of the alien people's exodus. Legends once told of a paradise destroyed by a kingdom of fire. Odin once 
was once a planet that faced destruction by the radiation of expanding sun Canopus. It built its built people built against computerized starships to monitor their exodus to find another world. Yet many stayed on Odin in the hopes that the fire ca of Canopus world would die out. Canopus would die out. The computers on the ships ultimately dis developed sci entrance and transformed its human refu noid refugees into cyborgs, leaving those remaining on Odin. The only ones remaining themselves, the machines larger, built machines to ensure that the mission succeeds, resulting in an eventual corruption of the original purpose. Now these machines sought only to destroy all organic life. The dying soldier noted that Sarah not only looked the, like the queen of Odin's people, but that Sarah was the queen's name. Sarah confirms that there might be a connection as she recounts her own memories of the Tree of Life. And how was she sheltered by two giants in her childhood? The cyborg soldier's dying words suggest that if Sarah had th these memories when then Odin and its people may still live. The crew promises to dedicate themselves to finding Odin. However, they must still defeat the master computer of this machine, a world being that calls itself Belgel. The crew finds a way to insert a computer virus which causes Belgel to overload and destroy the world fortress. So, the anime movie ends simply with the Starlight crew pressing on and unhindered to begin its search for the legendary planet Odin. <coughs> and that's how you end an anime movie with the song Odin by the Japanese heavy metal band Loudness. Pretty seem obvious, because I'm a huge fan of the heavy metal band Loudness, that's why. So that's how you end this anime movie with the song Odin by Loudness, what we see at the end of the movie Odin, Photon Sailor Starlight, or Odin Starlight Mutiny as well. Oh yeah, the animation production is done by Toei Animation, which is known for their work such as the Dragon Ball series, Sailor Moon, Fist of the North Star, the Kabocha Wine, Mazinger Z, Devil Man, Captain Harlock, and as well as the original space battleship Yamato, which I forgot to mention, as well as other anime made by Toei Animation. <laughs> yeah, because it's distributed by Toei Company. Oh yeah, and this w was released on August 10th, 1985 in Japan, because this runs about an hour 50 minutes. Because the music is done by Kira Takasaki, loudness guitar player, Fumitaka Anazai Hiroshi Miyagawa, Kentaro Haneda Masamichi Amano. Every music is done by... There. And it has the songs by loudness, what we hear in the movie Odin, Photon Sailor Starlight, such as Gotta Fight and... What we hear at the end is the song, as the self-titled name from, from the anime movie, Odin, by the so band Loudness. I really enjoyed this anime movie, because this is kind of like, reminiscent of Space Battleship Yamato, that's why. Because, you know, the Odin sh ship as a space cruiser, like a Space Battleship Yamato type space cruiser in this anime... And this did feature Tesho Genda, and who is known, who did anime like Violence Jack, Harem Bomber, as well as Urasai Yatsura in this, along with Tashio Furukawa. Oh, speaking of which, Tashio Furukawa and Tesho Genda are the two actors from Urasai Yatsura were in this anime movie, as well as Keiko Han and To. Toru Furuya. Yeah, because Toru Furuya and Keiko Han were originally on other animes, such as the Mobile Suit Gundam series, which is Mobile Suit Gundam 0079, Sailor Moon, and Saint Seiya. Forgot to mention about those. I mean... This did feature... 
every anime in this, such as, oh yeah, and also in other notable works of anime as well. I really enjoy this anime movie, Odin. I do have the DVD. When Odin was first released on DVD, it did have the English standard version, which is the cut version, and which is dubbed in English. And it has the original international dub version, which is both the original extended Japanese version with English subtitles, because Odin Photon Sailor Starlight was released on DVD by U.S. Manga Corp., Central Park Media's subdivisionary label for anime. That's the reason and it's been out of print of how do you call it a anime movie with the music of the Japanese heavy metal band Loudness to Toru Furuya and Keiko Han were uh, from anime such as Sailor Moon Mobile Suit Gundam 0079 and Saint Seiya were on Odin, Photon, Sailor, Starlight, as well as Tesho Genda and Toshio Furukawa in this anime. The, you know, these two from Udrasai Yatsura. Because this is my first time. This, uh, the reason why I loved Odin, Photon, Sailor, Starlight, because I, besides a huge fan of the heavy metal band Loudness, but it's also a little reminiscent of Space Battleship Yamato because Space Battleship Yamato is created by Leiji Matsumoto. That's why. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Odin Photon Sailor Starlight. Thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my quick thoughts. This is the 17th anime review since I reviewed the last 16 anime reviews that I've recently reviewed as well. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime pile link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to give this, leave a comment on this video. What are your thoughts on Odin Photon Sailor? What are your thoughts on Odin Sailor Starlight? Or Odin Photon Sailor Starlight? Or Odin Starlight Mutiny? Or whatever you want to call it. This as in the comments below, as be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is Ruroni K95. So feel free to join my channel as well. Be sure to click on my notifications bell button as well. Don't miss out on my previous videos that I've uploaded as well. Like, subscribe, favor, comment, share in your social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, etc. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment on this video. What are your thoughts on my anime review on Odin Photon Sailor Starlight? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to join my YouTube channel, RuroniK95, as well as you click my notifications bell button as well. So keep it otaku for my anime review on Odin, Photon, Sailor, Starlight, because this is the new anime that I finally get to do an anime review for the very first time. This is RuroniK95 saying thank you for watching my anime review. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next anime review, and have a great day. This is RuroniK95 signing off, and thank you for watching.